I have a problem here. I keep hitting my uh, button when I'm trying to move this. But this was actually, uh, I think, something. I came down the stairs and I was wondering, why are they not helping this poor guy? It turns out, I think it was two weeks after Halloween, and it was a Halloween prank. And this was really very interesting because I suddenly realized it was not a real person. It was a dummy. <laughs> and, of course, that ended up in the garbage as well. Hopefully, and thankfully, I don't believe anybody thought that a body had just been thrown in the dumpster either. But I know I had one tenant that was a little uh, a little bit frantic, uh, thought at first that there was a body in the dumpster, but that wasn't a real body. <laughs> and then, of course, this is another one another uh, with the dumpster divers. They, they are constantly stealing uh, the city of Ottawa recyclable bins. He's just walking off with that one that's in, just at the bottom of the of the of the uh, the uh, film there that you can see and so and again this is a knife that i showed you previously so again in the, one of the previous interviews that i had now the next one how about walking out the door and slipping on a banana peeling not to mention there was one time i came out and they did have actually have marbles on the stairs that we had to navigate through. Case of fire, that would be really great, slipping on a banana, peeling, and my gosh, if we went down marbles on the stairwell, that could be a disaster. Somebody could get hurt, and if we can't get out, there might end up even being fatalities. So this is what's putting us in danger. And as well, I wanted to show you something. This is um, pictures I had taken on Dalhousie Street in the spring. These are needles. And they're in a bucket, right beside one of our lamp posts. So that's what I could see on top, but they were filled with needles. And this is the actual bucket sitting there. This is where we're having a lot of problems. So, but what I'm starting to understand from the videos that I have been taking, and I'm sorry this is going to be split up. I'm having trouble tonight hanging on to this and trying to, to show everyone. Uh, what's going on here. But I think it's extremely important that people see this, what we're dealing with down here. We are under siege, even as tenants. They get into our buildings and they dismantle our buildings. And it's horrible. We need help down here. And I think the best way that we can actually do this is turn around and honestly, uh, literally, we have to ensure that somehow that the shelters are so safe for people to be living in. So they don't have to feel it is safer out on the streets than in a building where they should be safe. This is what I'm encountering right now. So I'm just going to leave it here for the moment. And I'm probably going to go on a little bit more another evening. But I'm really having some trouble at the moment just trying to hang on to uh, the, the film. That's why it's split in three, three sections. But I just wanted people to understand this is what we're dealing with down here. So like I said, please call your politicians. We're trying to... we've. We're working with the associations, and we're trying to work with our counselors, so please keep calling. We need help. We are in real trouble down here. So I thank you again for your patience, and have a good evening, and thank you. And this is Christine. Thank you.